Hello folks, I um, couldn't wait to um, share that um, after I made today's video, I did receive um, some mail and um, I got my record, my, my complimentary copies, they sent me two. And I uh, just want to go ahead and share the moment with everyone and also um, follow up on a question or two or comment. So Record Collector is a magazine out of Britain, UK, whichever one is proper, I'm not sure these days. Great Britain when I was a kid. Great magazine, chuck full of information all of the time. Every issue is just chuck full of information. And um, while I've been, I've tried harder to collect mojo over the years once I became familiar with record collector and its quality I started picking it up and <clears throat> right away one of the my favorite um, features in the magazine is the collector who is the collector of the month and it just means so much to me to be this month's collector there I am the Great Plains Drifter that really means a lot to me. Picture taken by um, other BC member, my dear friend Tim Guthrie. And um, some of the records I chose to show. Um, I just got back from a movie um, <clears throat> screening, so I haven't had a chance to really look at the magazine. Uh, I Obviously, I've know what I said in my article in my uh, interview but um, I think mostly what's just neat is to just be able to just open the magazine and see myself I've been in magazines before I've been in um, a couple of other international magazines one was magnet article about Sun ambulance and then I'm in a Japanese magazine which I don't have a copy of from back in the 90s about digital sex so I'm wasn't able to get a copy, but I saw one. I saw it. These are just n neat little things, you know. Um, I shared it online in um, one of the Facebook uh, YouTube BC um, groups. And um, again, Roger Coleman, if you see this, thank you so much. Um, to respond to Vinyl Richie, um, he had a couple of comments. Um, you know, I actually, I do watch videos, but I don't watch them like I used to. And what I mean is when I first discovered the BC, it was such a wonderful thing to find other people who were so into music and records, they were showing their records that, you know, I'm, you know, several people became a, my favorites that I watched, you know. As I've explained over time, as my situation has changed, you know, my need to watch my, my desire to watch has changed, but I still do check in with uh, some folks and um, every now and then, uh, at least weekly, I'll uh, watch someone that I haven't watched in a while. Recently, I caught up on Big Star 1000. I hadn't watched him in a long time. And I haven't watched you in a while, Trish, but I'll get to you. Um, so, but the idea of, of the existence of the BC and people making videos is, is important to me so that's why I speak like this and I encourage it you know if you really want me if, if there's something that you know no I don't want to say it because everyone wants me to watch the video so I won't say that okay Vinyl Richie wanted to know what was it about Facebook that I liked in relation to um, video making in the BC what I like about Facebook is that on Facebook there are several groups you can start your own group photography, uh, pictures of trees, records, uh, being a fanatic about certain things, artists. And so there are, I'm a member of several groups, some secret, some public. There is a YouTube vinyl community group that was started years ago that I'm probably the oldest member of. Still, many people have left the group. What do I like about Facebook? Well, I, 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 I like, put it like this. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you like cars and you sit in front of your house and watch traffic with a friend or your brother and sister and you <clears throat> go, ooh, and ah, ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. 
ooh, that one's mine, that Cadillac's mine. There's a similar um, um, enjoyment that I get out of posting pictures of the records I'm listening to and looking at other people's posts of records they're listening to or just bought. What I like about Facebook is that you can look and just like it or you can look and make a comment and maybe a conversation will start or maybe it won't. A lot of times I just want to look. Um, when something excites me, um, I make a comment. Um, some things spark memories and then then that leads to comments and, and uh, conversations. I know there are some people who are in the groups who want discussion. They don't just want people to post pictures. They want you to talk. I reserve the, the right to talk or not talk. I just like looking at the records. I'll just leave it that it's that simple for me. I'm, I'm, I'm a nerd, you know, I, you know, um, and there is a certain amount of, um, show me, I'll show you yours. If you show me mine, there is a certain amount of, uh, competition. There is a certain amount of one upmanship. It just goes with being human. I am not necessarily into it, but I'm aware of it and play along with it and not at times. Mostly what I like to do is I like to look at the records. Another thing that I like to do by looking, you know, by uh, perusing the different um, music groups is that people show records that I forget about and then it leads me to play things that I forgot that I had. That's another thing. That's another thing I like about um, Facebook. So, yeah, I um, <clears throat> kind of like, the, you know, it's like trading cards, you know. For me, a little bit of human contact goes a long way. And so just being able to have contact, but limited, you know, I like that, you know, not being stuck with people, you know, I'm just being honest, you know. That's the best way I can explain it, Vinyl Richie, why I enjoy the Facebook groups, and I'm in a bunch of them. Like I said, some of them are secret, you know. Um, I do belong to a couple of groups where it, it is, I'm proud to say that I can hang with these international collectors, these guys that have all the $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 albums. All, a bunch of them are in Italy, you know, which is, I find interesting. And they have a, they have a secret group that uh, they invited me into. And I can hang, you know, I don't have a lot of those records. I have very few of those high buck records, but I know those records. I have a few. And I have those guys respect, which means a lot to me. You know, right along the lines, you know, getting this article, Roger passing my name on or not, or however it happened, the res this implies respect for me as a being recognized as, you know, a, a collector. Serious collector? Well, it's like, it's serious to me. Yeah, it's what I've been into all my life. It's been my favorite toy since I can remember is records, vinyl, 45s, and um, record players with the big um, adapters, you know, fascinated me, you know. So this means a lot to me, you know, and I had to get back on and just babble about it. It means a lot. I also received a, a record today. I think I know who sent this to me. I thank them for it. Uh, they sent me this Jack Bruce album, Jack Bruce and Friends. It's Jack Bruce with Clem Clemson, Billy Cobham, David Sanchez. I've always wanted to do this. And I appreciate it. It's another album from my Jack Bruce collection. This is, you know, Jack Bruce, I haven't listened to this all the way through. So the first thing that strikes me is that the album is designed sonically to try and appease an audience, a commercial audience, one you're hoping to hit a demographic that will buy the album. So as a result, some of the, these first songs that I hear are really not that interesting. It's like they're serving a purpose trying to get people to um, absorb this product. I love Jack Bruce and I know that there's going to be at least one very good song on this album. I haven't heard it yet. So whoever sent this to me, I think it's a fellow named James. Thank you. Jack Bruce and Friends. That was my new record of the day. Um, some other stuff. Um, I just come from a movie screening, as I said. Uh, the movie is Bent Over Neil. Yeah, that's uh, what it says. And it's uh, directed by my um, 
bandmate and good friend Aaron Gum, the guy who has done most of the uh, graphic layout for the albums that I release. Um, actually, two, two pieces of music that I'm in are in the movie. In Dreamer is in the movie, and Strange Attractors are in the movie, uh, in the soundtrack. Beyond that, though, I was actually surprised at how good the movie is. I don't call myself a movie buff. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not a movie buff. Movies can bore me. The cinematography of this was really good. And uh, I was surprised at the depth of the story. So bent over, over Neil. Neil as in the name Neil, like Neil Cassidy. If you hear about it, go see it. Okay, last time. Just chuffed, just chuffed beyond words to be featured in a record collector magazine.